What's up, everybody? This is your boy from Charms City. Charms City Gamer here, back with more in the previous film. 93 is episode 6. I know, it's mid August, and I'm just now getting the 6th game of the season. Give me a break, I had a lot of games I was doing. Same lineup as before. I'll tell you what the guys did in the box score. Lenny went 3 for 5. Um, Inky had a 3 run homer that drove us to a 5 0 win. Well, the box score is on last, so you guys don't need me to explain what happened. Yeah, we'll be back to the start of this thing in just a moment. So you see here's a real warm up on the mound for the Reds. They look to shut down the hard hitting Phil's offense. And then he'll lead us off. We come back. And then he's at the addition. We are ready to go. Here's Spitz from Jose Rio to Lenny. And Lenny swings and hits a drive to deep right center field. That's got a chance. Way back. That ball is off the top of the wall. And Lenny will cruise in with the leadoff double on the very first pitch of the game. Here, and here is Mariano Duncan, looking for his first home run in just his second RBI of the year. That one's hit the center. Lenny will retreat. Back to second, just in time. So Duncan can't get Mar or, uh, Lenny in. Let's see if Crocky can do the trick. Here's Spitz Crook. That's line to left. Lenny will hold a third. But Mitchell's got a good arm, so he's going to hold a third. Cracky gets back into first with a sharp single to the left. And that will bring up Dave Holmes. Holmes has gotten it. He's basically a hit machine right now, but he can't seem to get in the RBIs. That might change right here. This one will hook just foul. Just foul down the line. I can hit one hard right at somebody. And that will lead to an inning ending double play. So Lenny is stranded at third despite a couple of big hits. I don't bring up Bib Roberts for the Reds spot on first. Here, I'll just go as long as I can and then just give it right. I figured doing it in short burst gives it more chance to fail. Here's the pitch to Roberts, the old one. Hanger, and that's line to left. Nope, is up with it. Fires it back in. So Roberts with the leadoff single. So just like Lenny, their leadoff man gets off. Here's pitch to Morris. Right to Crump. Nice diving stop. Throw to first, 30 second. There's one back to first, not in time. But a great play by Crucky to at least spear that ball and get one out. And bring it Ken Mitchell. Mitchell hits one to second. Should be two. There's one. Relay two. Easy double play. And that ends the inning. We'll go to the second. Dalton, Eisenreich, and Thompson for the Phillies. Dutch will pop it up. Easy play for Chris Sable with third. He's got it. One away. And bring up Jimmy Eisenreich. That just popped up into shell left. And it will actually drop in for a base hit. So I think it's a, I guess a bloop single right there. And that will give Milt Thompson a chance. As he leads away from first. And Milt swings and misses strike one. I do with that lead at first. That one's hit the deep left. This one might have a chance. It's back. Back to the track to the wall. It's out of here. Didn't see that coming there from Milt Thompson. A two-run homer. And the Phillies take a 2-0 lead here in the second. You don't usually see too many homers out of Milt, so that was a nice surprise. Here's Kevin Stocker, a young shortstop. And Stock hits one hard to short. Easy play for Larkin. He's up with it. Fires two there. And that will bring up Kurt Schilling. This will at least ensure that Kurt didn't lead off the third inning. But it's kind of strange. I mean, Milt's a number seven hitter, and he's back smacking the ball in the yard. And Kurt's going to get not quite an infant single. I thought he would. Great job by Larkin to be able to pick it up fire, even though he had to do a rolling act on the field there. And it'll be a stable Larkin and Brumfield for the Reds in their half. Here's Chris Sabo. He takes a called strike one from Phil. So now the Phil's have a 2 nothing lead, thanks to Milt Thompson. Swing and miss on the slider, 0-2. See what Shield calls on 0-2 here. The 0-2 pitch to Sabo. 
Shot for short 30. He played for Owens. On to first. Long throw. He got it. Nice cover. Nice stretch there by Grecky. Here's Barry Larkin. There you are. Short stop. Takes flat or strike one. Deal one on the way to Barry. Popped up. Shallow right. Izzy on the run. He will get there. That will bring up Jacob Brumfield. Two down in the red second. And adds the fly to left. Thompson is there. He squizzes it. Inning over. But in the third will be Lenny Mariano and John Crook for the fills. Lenny, of course, led things off with a double to start the game on the very first pitch he saw from Jose Rio. Trying to reach out for that one. It's one down the line to Morris. One away. A rather awkward looking swing there by Lenny. Got to bring up Mariano Duncan. Duncan swings, hits one towards second base. Bib Roberts up with it. Fires two down. Out of bounds, Crooky. He's one for one with a sharp single in the center. Here's Fitz Crook from Rio. That one's hit hard to dead left center field. This one might have a chance. It's back to the truck, to the wall, off the wall. And Crooky will have a double. He's going to possibly try for three. He's go. He's going to hold it a second. Hold it a second. So there's the two for two day for Crooky. He's single and doubles in two trips. Out of bring up Dave Hollins. Another chance for an RBI for Hollins. Inside fastball. I think he got jammed. And he hit it one right on the ground to Larkin for the third out. You can see Larkin had a little bit of a double clutch there. He was able to recover and make the play. Roberto Kelly, Dan Wilson, and Jose Rio do up for the Reds in their half of the third. That one hit the right. Easy play for Izzy. He's got it. One down. Had to bring up catcher number six, Dan Wilson. Here's the delivery to Wilson. Chopper foul. The old one. Bouncer to third. Holland's up with it. Fires. Two down. And that will bring up the pitcher number 27, Jose Rio. Swing and a strike one by Rio. You one. Takes ball one. Just to go. One one offering on the way from Rio. Or to Schilling to Rio. One and two. Let's see if he goes to the change again on one and two. The one two pitch. He does go with the changeup and get the pop up in foul ground. Crucky is there. But it can't get it. Drop in front of him. I think Schill wants to go for that strikeout. The one two on the way to Jose Rio. Popped up again. Brecky on the run. He's not gonna get there. Good effort though. One two again to Jose Rio. Cold strike three inning over. Show at the battle a little bit, but he striked out his counterpart. And it'll be Darren Dalton, Jim Adrian, and Milt Thompson due for the fields and fourth when we come back. Dutch stands in to kick out the fourth, and we are ready to go. Here's pitch from Jose Rio. Dutch swings and hits one into left center. Easy play there for Mitchell. One down. That was in the lower part of his hip zone. He didn't really like it there. Here's pitch to Izzy. He hit a little bloop single with left. I mean, he hits one that's lined or Larkin, he pretty much snow coned it for the second half. And here's Milt Thompson. It was Milt Sewer and him that gave us the lead earlier. Here's pitch to Milt. And Milt's all over this one to left, but right at Kevin Mitchell for the third out of the inning. So the Phillies go down on three quick pitches here in the fourth. And Bill Roberts stand in to lead off the red fourth. And he hits a little flare in the short, short center. Stocker racing back, racing out there into the Marina trial. I think he makes a play. Had to bring up Hal Morris. Morris, I believe, has their only hit. That's not round to first. Easy play for Crook. Two down. Had to bring up Kevin Mitchell. Did it pitch to Mitchell. Had it fouled away. Thompson will give it a look, but it'll run out of room. The one to Mitchell. Splitter popped up into shallow right. 
Mariano Duncan out. He's got to play at it. And that'll do it for the Reds in the fourth. It'll be Stalker killing in Dykstra for the Phillies fifth. Rolling through this one as Stock steps in for his second, I bet. And Stock with a little flare to center. This one might drop in. Yes, it will. And Stocker's one for two. This gives Chilling a chance to bunt him over. Hey, watch the bunt. You hear the red slayer saying, hey, watch the bunt. That's exactly what Chill's thinking. Here it throws over. Keep Stocker honest. Chill bunts again, but misses. Now he pretty much has to swing. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. Stocker at least had to give it a try. Now two down and that'll bring up Lenny. And Lenny with a drive to left center field. This ball's hit well. Way back. Back to the track. To the wall. Off the top of the wall again. Lenny just missed another one. And again he'll settle for another double. That's twice. Lenny's hit one to the deepest part of the yard. But it just missed getting out of here. Duncan hits one to dead center, but right at Roberto Kelly, and that'll do it for this inning. So despite a couple Phillies hits, they can't add any more runs as Chris Sabo steps in. Sabo swings and hits a rocket right to Crucky. One down. Had to bring up Barry Larkin. It's pitch. Bouncer to third. Easy play for Hollins. On to first. Two down. Shields just mowing down this lineup as Brumfield stands in. Bounce foul. The 1. Swing and a miss strike to 0 2. Let's see what Shield goes here on 0 2. Trying to fool the young slugger. And I think he did that with that splitter, even though it was a hanger. As he grounds out to end the inning. We go to the 6th. Crook, Collins, and Darren Dalton. Cracky two for two with a single and double in two trips. Here's pitch from Rio. Cracky reaching out for it and hits a soft liner to Jose Rio for round number one. And that'll bring up Dave Holland. He's 0 for 2. Holland swings. This one's not going to get caught by anybody. That one's in the gap. That'll be an easy double for Dave Holland. He dives in a second. One out double for Dave. And that'll bring up Dutch Dalton here. Dutch is also 0 for 2. Dutch up the middle. There's a base hit. Hollins will score with these. Oh, no, he won't. I misspoke. I thought Hollins would have scored easily, but he doesn't. But at least Dutch doesn't get a single out of it. That's not a total loss. It's Izzy stepped in. Izzy trying to swing at that. I don't know what he's swinging at. He's him on our fork ball. Up in the zone, practically at his eyes for Now he's really... Uh, Concerned with Dutch Dalton over there. I don't know why. Maybe that's why. Because I was able to rip a line drive in the right for a single. Here's Milt Thompson. That one's hit to shallow left. That's going to drop in. Nobody's at third. He didn't go to third. That'd be a fielder's choice. It should be a hit for Milt, but it's a hitter choice instead. At least I think it is. Let's check the box score, shall we? That will a hit or a hitter choice? Yeah, it's will they hit. It's will a hitter choice. So let's see what they can do here in the bottom of the sixth. Kelly standing in. Bound through the crocky. Easy play. One down. Add up Dan Wilson. Hanger, but right to stock. Long throw. Nice stretch by Krucky to keep his foot on the bag. But he pulled his hamstring in the process. I guess that's why Krucky didn't make those long stretches. That'll have to bring in Ricky Jordan to play defense. Hopefully won't miss Krucky for too long. And one Samuel pinch it for Jose Rio. Samuel takes a strike. 0 oh, 1. Deal 1. Bounce to the third. Easy play for Holland's long throw. And he beat it. 
That's why you gotta throw it a little harder next time. I believe that's holding air on Holland, but it shouldn't be. Is it? Yep, it is. And it'll bring up Bib Roberts for the chance to at least get them on get them a bit closer in the board here. Up the middle. Easy play for Duncan. He fires the first. Nice pick by Ricky Jordan. And on the inning, it'll be Stalker, Schilling, and Dykstra for the Philly seventh. Jeff Reardon comes in for Sam Well. We'll be back after this. And Starker will lead off the seventh against Jeff Reardon. And here we go. Here's pitch from Reardon. Inside, that's a little jam sandwich into the shallow center field. Roberts is there. And bring up Kurt Schilling. He is over two as a strikeout. Reardon's pitch. A little loop in the left field for a base hit for Schilling. Who says pitchers can't hit? She'll just prove you got it with a base hit there. Had to bring up Lenny. He's two for three and a couple of doubles. She'll leads. There he goes. That's lined up right. That's going to be through the hole. She will go to third. And he will be in there. So Lenny with a sharp single. That gets by Morris. And Duncan will hit a sack fly. Possibly. That ball is going to go. Looks like. Yep. Great catch. Runner has to get back to third. Schilling does. He has no clue where he's at. And he's going to be doubled off. That should have been a sack flying in RBI, but Schilling was doubled off. Face running gap at its finest right there. And Morris will hit a fly ball down the left field line. Thompson racing for it. Racing, racing. Cannot get there. Great effort by Milton. And as you see, Mitchell stands on deck. He's over two. Morris hang its ladder line into left for a base hit. That will bring up the tying run from Kevin Mitchell. It's the second hit that Schilling will out. And six will sing more. Mitchell pops it up. That'll force Morris back to first. Schilling's got it. One down. And bring Chris Sabo. He's over two as well. You catch Sabo. Nice stop by Dutch Dalton on that play in the dirt. One over to Sabo. Lined and caught by Duncan back to first. Not in time on the double play chance. And I bring up Barry Larkin. He's over two. You can bet she would win another complete game, but he figured that Mitch Williams definitely wants to come in and get a save for sure. We'll see. Line to right at the base hit. Eyes and right will get back in. Two on, two out in the seventh. Had to bring up Jacob Rumfield. Living on a prayer. Now the Cincinnati crowd really getting into it, and they have the potential go ahead run at the plate. Time runs on board. Rumfield chopper foul. Runners have to go back to their bags. The 0 2 from Schilling to Brumfield. Big pitch right here. All one. Schill looks in for the sign. 1 and 2. Big pitch here. 1 and 2 to Brumfield. Big pitch. Game could be on the line here. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. Schill gets out of the jam. There's a hanging split up at Brumfield. Swing and missed. We'll go to the 8th. It'll be Ricky Jordan. Dave Hollins and Darren Dalton to the Phils. Ricky, of course, came on to play defense after Crucky pulled his hamstring, making a great defensive play at first. Pitch to Jordan. Jordan swings and hits one to left. Easy play for Mitchell. And here is Dave Hollins. One for three to double. Pitch to Hollins. Down the line. Easy play for Morris. Two down. Now bring up Dutch Dalton. He's one for three. Makes that a one for four. And on the eighth, Kelly, Wilson, and Reardon do up. Probably Shields last thing unless he get a few more runs in the night. Fouled off Kelly's foot there. Added Eric. And 
Dan Wilson stands the on Dexter, but they're not really making a threat, considering he's 0 for 2. Reds have gotten just two hits off Schilling the entire game as Jordan makes a nice play, one down. Speaking of Dan Wilson, they'll bring him up. Wilson brings a miss on the splitter, hole in one. You wonder, Wilson. Bow it away. 0 and 2. Reardon on deck. He'll probably pinch it for. The 0 2 to Wilson. Rick to Jordan. He'll take his first himself. Two down. And he was pinch it for it. Somebody Branson. Jeff Branson will pinch it for him. Third baseman with a rather odd batting chance. Fitz Branson. Swing him to strike one by the big man. Oh, he's got Tony Batista stand. That's what it is. At least it sure looks like it. Oh, one. Line right to Jordan, inning over. Go to the ninth. Eisenring, Milt Thompson, and Kevin Soccer. It was Milt Homer that gave us the two nothing lead, and that's what we that's what we say in the ninth. You keep in mind that two run homer came way back in the second inning. Since then, it's been nothing but zeros. And we'll get and we'll get uh, our closer Mitch Williams up in the bullpen. Wow, thing. Mitch Williams. And Mitch is now in the pen, and it's Izzy stands in in the ninth. Izzy swings, hits one to deep right field. That ball is way back, way back. That ball is gone! Solo home run, Jim Izzy, right? And it's now 3 0 Phillips. Izzy just got enough of it to drive it out of here. Despite a great effort by the right fielder of run field to take that one back. Now, Bobby Ayala in their pen. Out to bring up Milt Thompson, whose two run homer gave us the 2 0 lead originally. Here it's pitch. Thompson swings and it's a liner right to second base. Had to bring up the dude, or excuse me, Kevin Stocker rather. Stocker up one for three. That one's hit deep to center field. Stocker might have one. Way back, way back. That ball is gone. And Kevin Stocker providing a little home run power. Now to ensure that we won't need Mitch Williams in the ninth inning. So Mitch, you can sit right back down, bud. Unless, of course, they happen to score. And bring up Kurt Schilling. And Kurt will foul that one away. Lenny, of course, waiting on deck. He's 3 4 with a couple of doubles. Swing and miss strike two to Kurt. This will give Kurt a chance to have a second complete game. And he swings and misses. Remember, they gotta make a throw to first. They do. And Chills are tired. Had to bring up Lenny. He's 3 for 4 with two doubles. Here's Spitz to Lenny. Had his hit to center field. Roberto Kelly is there. He squeezes it. Inning over. In the ninth, Bib Roberts, Tom Morris, and Kevin Mitchell do it. Try to finish it right here. Bouncer to Duncan. One down. Adam and Pal Morris. One for three. Swing and miss, strike one. Deal one. Ball one. One and one, and Morris. The one one pitch. Bouncer to second. Easy play for Mariana Duncan. Two down. Now to bring up Kevin Mitchell. He's 0 for 3. Here for the last chance. Ball one inside. She will not wait for a complete game shut up. And from giving the Phillies a second trait series sweep. And a 6 0 start. Just like my Orioles did way back in April. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Bouncer to Duncan, another easy play, and this ball game is over! Bills have won six straight, Show gets his complete game shutout. And let's make sure that doesn't corrupt. Here we go. Boy, we head to the main menu and see how badly Kirky's hurt. And out for check the box score so you can see our stats. Lenny went three for five. A couple of doubles. Miran went over four. Kirky went two for three with two doubles before it. Before he got hurt. Holland won one for four. 
Dalton went one for four. Eisenreich went three for four with two runs scored in an RBI with his homer. Milt Thompson went one for four with his two run homer. Stock went two for four with his solo homer. That's basically all the runs you need now. Schilling went one for four. And Ricky Gordon is only a bat flat out. Goal for one. So let's see how bad Crusty's hurt, shall we? Okay, she'll bench just two in this tonight, I think, but then not matter. Okay, it's just ten days, so it's not that bad. So he'll only miss about a week's worth of game. And I guess we'll have uh, Kim Batiste play first. That's what we'll do. Batiste play first. Just, just in a uh, crooked dungeon. I know he's not the greatest of power hitters, but I gotta do something. So just to give him a chance to get some at bats. So guys, so till next time, Dwarf and Chum City, Chum City Gamer signing out. Remember if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support me on the channel. And as always, keep it charming.